Let me just smack my lips up. What if that was the song? Smack, smack my, my lips, lips up. up. Ugh. Ugh. Welcome back to the Super Panic Frenzy Podcast. I'm your one and true wonder, Stephen Suptic. I'm Raina Scully. I'm sorry, did you say woman true wonder? I'm your woman true wonder, Stephen Suptic. It's not even English. I all right. I'm Raina Scully. Wait, we did this already. <laughs> <laughs> it's been you know what? It's been a long weekend. It really I feel like <sighs> drained. It's it's almost you, we've like we've been sick. We've been sick. Yeah, it feels Again. weird because this weekend's felt longer than <sighs> the whole break that we had. Oh, did it? I feel like I liked our destroyed break. right now. I don't know why. So why were you sick on Thursday and Friday? And also, we had off on Monday because Martin Luther King woo, Jr. Woo. But what? Martin Luther King Jr. Day was yesterday. That's why we had Martin Luther King. M I L K. What the fuck? What's Martin Luther King? M L K Jr. M I L K Day. What? What the fuck is happening? I honestly don't know what you're talking about. But um, you know what was really cool recently? You had pneumonia. That's not cool. It was walking pneumonia. It wasn't that bad. And I still have it. And it's basically uh, what your like lung swells and there's like a little bit of fluid in your lungs. And it sounds really disgusting. But that's why I've been coughing a lot. Wait, I what? thought it was the Porter Ranch methane leakage. Mm, but it's we'll not. talk about that in a second. Mm. What are we, what's the difference between regular pneumonia and walking pneumonia? Because I had pneumonia. You get like hospitalized for like straight up pneumonia. Um, I didn't get hospitalized for pneumonia. Really? Were you out for like a week though? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I had to have an inhaler, and it was yeah. this whole thing. But oh, it was but an inhaler you... with like a giant silencer too. That's amazing. We aren't. Not a silencer, but it had this. I just imagined a silencer. <laughs> <laughs> what? Secret through Stephen Shepard sneaking through the hallways to find his next victim. Is your mouth like that? Because you always have to have the inhaler in your. No, that's from my braces. Oh. I've never had braces. Maybe I should have. Wait, you've never had braces? Oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that face! You I forgot what we were talking bastard. about. I know that no, was we're talking about your pneumonia. And I hope it comes back. Oh well, I mean, I still have it. That's why I'm dying. <laughs> but um, I have to get a chest X-ray. It's really sad. It was, it was scary. I thought I was gonna lose my voice again, and like I can't sound more like a crack oh. addict. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I know, right? Your voice is like your most important thing, minus your boobs. <clears throat> I know. For the, boys. for the boys. Um, I had an important thing to say about pneumonia, and now I can't remember it. Well, what oh, were you actually, sick with? it was with? an important thing about me. I was sick, too. Yeah, what and did you have? And I know you, you just have? mentioned it, so thank I know. you. Wait, what on earth was wrong with you? I don't know. You think? know what? I, I know that my wisdom teeth are still coming in, and I had this roof of mouth pain. Roof of mouth <laughs> pain. And it was, like, on both sides. I looked it up on WebMD, as you should. and But uh, everything goes back to, like, cancer, polio. Yes. <laughs> polio, yeah. And... It said it was like, you know what, if it's a soft palate, because there's a soft palate and a hard, hard palate, palate, and the soft palate soreness is usually strep throat or some sort of, la like, not as bad thing. But mine was on the hard palate, which is like the roof part of your mouth, like the top hard part, and it was on either side of that. I was like, woof, this doesn't seem like a good thing. And I thought it was related to an infection in my wisdom teeth because the dentist keep telling me, Steve, you got to get those wisdom teeth out. And yeah. I keep telling him... Don't feel like dropping that kind of money on myself, even though it probably you have cause... dental. You have well, no, it's dental still like five hundred a piece, five hundred a tooth. Our dental sucks. I guess yeah, that's true. But you know, wisdom teeth cost like a grand if you don't have insurance. Let me do that then. Let me do that then. Let's do that because like that's ASAP. Important. Oh my god, I love insurance. Let me <laughs> tell you that it's like the best thing. Wait, so what actually ended up being wrong with you? So you thought it was your I don't teeth? know. I didn't do anything, and then Wait, it just went away. You said you went to a doctor, and they told you that oh, you had. Oh, they told me it was a bacterial infection, but they didn't tell me like what it could have been. Yeah, and your doctor didn't fucking give you. You didn't any... give me any penicillin yeah. or anything. Like, what? and it's like. What kind of doctor know. is that? Well, this is the same doctor oh, that. that told me, oh, that thing on your back's gonna go after away after a month. Uh, excuse me, doctor, I had to go four months Hack later to off. a dermatologist <laughs> who, maybe I don't like my insurance because they, for some reason, oh, it's that same fucking doctor. He didn't give me a dermatologist. He set me up with a podiatrist. Wait, He gave me what? a foot doctor. For your back? For my back. Wait. I went in there and I was like, uh, hi, I know I'm a little bit late, uh, but I was curious if, um, there's still a chance to get in with the doctor today. And they're like, okay, yes, we've set you up with, a uh, something so-and-so. And then I'm like, or no, because I mentioned that it was, I'm looking for a dermatologist at first. Right. Um, because I went to like three different offices. Yeah, yeah and in you that knew building. what you were looking for. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, we actually have you set up with a podiatrist." And I just looked at them. And I'm like, "Podiatrist, bet you do." 
<laughs> I bet you do have that. But then they're like, oh, we actually have um, a dermatologist that's not seeing anyone right now. So I got so, oh, so fucking got lucky. I got so lucky. Yeah, that's not even. Wow, that sucks. What so the, lucky. Why do you go go to a different doctor now? And, oh, I guess I have to wait like another week to see if it was any sort of cancerous thing. Oof, that would suck. I think they'd let you know. They did a biopsy. Yeah, know. but they say it takes like two wake two wakes. Oh, two, it takes two it wakes. Takes, well, no, it takes the death of two people and oh two of their God. wakes for it to come back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's surprising. If you have, like, a lump on you, they just hack that thing off real quick. I, I had know, no you idea. showed us. It was disgusting. Like, they do, they do a needle, and it just pinches for a little bit, and then just two seconds later, it's like they scoop Ooh, it out yeah. like butter. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh my I God. can't believe it's not butter. It's a cyst. <laughs> I hate you. I can't believe it's not a cyst. I don't know what it was, but it was gross. You're I hope... so disgusting. I can't. Uh, I mean, oh my god! Don't you still have fluid in your lungs? I'd say I, you're the disgusting one right I, now. It's true. I'm clean Sometimes as fuck. Sometimes when I cough like really, really hard, it sounds like I wheeze, and there's like a high pitched like <laughs> noise. <laughs> <laughs> what is that sound? A wheeze? <laughs> you know what else they told me? And sorry that I'm getting uh, into all this information about my um, dermatology Grossness? needs, oh. <laughs> but I've been having these like zits on my shoulders re- for the past few months. And yeah, I, you've been talking about it I for have a while. Not, yeah. <laughs> And you were I like, my shower's to, too hot. My, I was like, my shower's too hot. That's right, my back feeling city. And then I was like, my, my sheets need to be cleaner. I'm allergic to my shirts. I'm allergic to linen. Yeah, you really did say no, all those I, things. No, it's none of those. So I went to the derm and like, they hacked the thing up. I was like, uh, what else could this be? Like, what is this? And they're like, pretty sure it's hormones. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, what? Well, I might still be going through puberty. Well, we knew that. I mean, your voice <laughs> is still... Your voice is still like, oh. what if I like leave for a couple years and I come back and I'm just like, Why well, you can't even do it. Oh and you're God. like, why are you welcoming me? You came back. <laughs> That's what I'm like. Yeah, but it's like, of all things, what if I'm going through puberty right now? I for, think I might be. I mean, you are a healthy, what is it, 11 year old boy? <laughs> 43-year-old Raina Scully. Listen, I am 27. I'm getting a little I'm bit sick. almost 23. Okay. And I'm, I'm so close. I'm 27. Which reminds me, what are you going to give me for my birthday? When's your birthday? February 5th. Really? I hate that I had to think about that. That's so weird. All of my friends are born in February. Like, all throughout growing up, February Every was single like, one of your friends? Yeah, it was awful. Which doesn't make sense because you think the children... Well, what's nine months before February? Um, what is that? February? February January. December. November. October. September. September. August, <laughs> July, July June. June. Oh, so June. So really, June's a month for baby making for my generation. Apparently, I don't know. It was really weird, but like uh, literally, yes, like the baby boomers. <laughs> I'm 27. <laughs> oh my god. Golly. Uh, did. You know what? Though you got me though, because you guys are going to San Francisco and I'm fucking not. Oh, whatever. You okay? All right. I'm excited to go. I'm not gonna lie. At first, because it's like. I'm so goddamn sick of traveling. I know. Don't get me wrong. There was a point in my life where I really liked going to PAX and I really liked going to these conventions. I did too much last year. We did too much. Way too much. There's there's so much happening right now in 2016. And it's just like, I don't... As much as I'd want to go travel and see people that watch videos of ours and do that kind of stuff, because that's really the only reason I'd want to go. Uh, To me, There's just no goddamn time. I'd rather spend time working on the stuff that you guys get to see. So it's like... That's true. It sucks because it happens to just take up, like, at least a whole day just for, like, traveling and, like, hotel reasons and purposes. Because, like, otherwise, if it's just a day trip, it's a completely different story. And the whole time I'm there, I'm thinking about, wow, I could be homeworking, I could be homeworking. You know what we should do, though? And sometime in 2016, we should set up a Super Panic Frenzy LA meetup. Oh! Wouldn't that be really cool? What do you guys think about that? Leave a uh, crispy old like on the video if you'd like us to do a meetup in LA. Actually, yeah, and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below about where you think it should be. That's cool. Uh, Like, downtown LA would, like, suck dick, so please don't choose that. I mean, I like it there, but... Hey, let's uh, let's make a reminder to tweet about that shit in a (gasps) sec. Let's do that. Let's do that real quick. That seems like... We could have an ice cream parlor day. We should just pull up in a straight-up ice cream truck. Oh, my God. Do you think Discovery would let us Or a taco truck! Yo. Taco truck. Yo. We... Oh, my God. Taco truck meat... (laughs) Taco... Raina, what are you trying to say? I Taco know truck on. meet up. Holy shit. It's cute. And then we never have to touch you guys because we'll just be in. Th- wow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hand out the things and the people will be like, uh, no, 
What? <laughs> Smack the phone. Oh my Stop god. It. Stop that. You dream differently than I do. Speaking of dream diff- differently, we both had dreams about the office last night. Oh yeah, I had like a little bit of a nightmare. It was really weird. And Len was like the main person in the dream too. Really? It was really weird. Yeah, because we had like all the people coming to the office or I was like, guys, uh, we we're doing a video and we need you all in the background for it because it's like this funny bit, even though it's probably not that funny. Yeah. We um, so everyone came in and then I guess during the middle of it, I was like, ah, oh, shit, I need lunch. I just left everyone there. That's... And that was the end of my dream. I just left everyone, and I was just a little shitball. What about you? I mean, that is literally who you are. No, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, no you gap. do that. Yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt in that. Uh, you know, mine was just, like, a general, like, nightmare. Actually, I have a lot of, like, apocalypse nightmare dreams, like, very often, where I'm, like, running from shit, or, like, I have to, like, escape from shit, or I have to, like, find someone and save them or something. There's a little bit of that. What is that about? Yeah, are, you, are you saving Mike most of the time? No, actually, um... Saving cats? <laughs> with my cats no it's like no faced anonymous people and things that are happening but something felt very like this office e in my dream so whatever damn Nightmares. what if you're saving the office from impending doom no you know what honestly i'm the one that would go postal like let's be honest <clears throat> okay so the next thing that we're going to talk about is uh reina moving and car shopping <laughs> reina what about your moving and car shopping is not related to going postal <laughs> Well, maybe if I move and become happier, I won't have to go postal. Uh, my, oh! my car oh! is a dick right now. Well, it's not my car. It's Mike's car. Uh, we need a new car, and it's very stressful. Every time you me. drive somewhere, aren't you like, holy shit, I almost died? Every time you show up to a place, you're like, holy shit, I it's almost It's because I gave Mike my car, which is still old. It's a 98 Honda Civic, and it got stolen once, too. He's driving that right now, and that one's safe and fine, but I'm driving his car because I don't have to go many places and you can't go over 40 miles per hour or else the transmission slips and it's the most terrifying experience ever and it turns into a manual car because the transmission slips from automatic so unless you know how to drive stick shift you can't drive my car <laughs> i just want to hear like gears clicking on the road and then you just hear inside your car <laughs> inside like... that's my voice that's not even the car or the tires that's me <laughs> just every time it slips <laughs> That would be really funny, but you yeah. also are moving? Really? Yes, really? okay. Listen, you moved here, so I have to go away now. Potentially, <laughs> potentially that could be good. Um, you know? I know. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you guys, wait. I need to, I need some luck. Listen, all right. I loved this apartment I saw in Van Nuys. It was beautiful and amazing, and it was only 15, mm. only 15 minutes away from this office. Not that different Lord from how long I travel. Mercy. Lord, okay, so listen. I go there, and there's another couple that was getting a viewing before oh, Mike I and I. I hate that. Holy I, I stare people shit. down. I'm like. I, I couldn't. I looked down and I was like, please go away. And then I thought, their credit score can't be better than mine. Is your credit score that good again? Uh, it's not like, okay, it used to be. Is that yours is a lot better than that? <laughs> yours is 800, isn't it? No, it's not. It was last year. It was oh, last I cracked my back. It was weird. I slept on it. Listen. I slept on the dog. Did you really? No, the dog. Oh my god! Like cannot wake up for anything. It's just like <laughs> I was like trying to move it off of me. Move and it was, it. Its eyes were like. <laughs> she is so fucking cute. Wait, you have to tell them about the cutest slash saddest trick in the world. It's oh. so cute. If I go like this to the dog, it comes up and it licks me right away because it she thinks I'm in stop. Yeah, absolute pain. She absolutely stopped. Everything she was dro- doing, dro- drooling. <laughs> it was drooling. It was drooling. She stopped and ran immediately over. It was so cute. Do you know when your travel time to the office is going to be, by the way? Just curious. About 15 to 20 minutes. I checked it yesterday. Whoa, that's about what yours is now, right? No, right now it's like eight minutes. Oh my God. Actually, it's like, I mean, it's 10 in the morning. That's Actually, it's a little bit less. That's pretty tight. I know, and it looks amazing. It's two bedrooms, and it looks a lot like my old apartment in New Jersey, so it's kind of strange, but it's adorable. Oh, I'm very proud of you. I also what? finished moving pretty much. I have your like one more. So I have good. one more. My apartment. I mean, your uh, house looks Get that so shit good. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't buy it for it to be called an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fantastic. And I love your carport. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot we had that. It's so um, weird. I actually did a Snapchat Q&A. The, uh, I think it's going up today. And one of the questions was, I... Steve, will you stop bragging about your fucking house? This <laughs> is like, amazing. Wait, did you get mine? No, because I, I keep. One. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in myself because I keep doing the Snapchat Q and A's where and my friends uh, give them to me, and I make it. I turn it off private. I turn. I mean, I turn it back to private, and it deletes every single Snapchat I just oh, got. Oh, that's so stupid. Wait, why would it do that? Because Snapchat's a fucking. That's turd. a flaw. Snapchat should do something about that. I can't talk today. Snapchat. 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 Snapch
But I did finish moving and really hoping that there's this thing in SoCal, uh, in the valley actually, in Porter Ranch. It's a gas leak that, I don't know, did we talk about this last week? We did a little bit briefly. We touched on it? Yeah, that, because I was sick and I, I didn't know it was pneumonia so yet. We, we touched on it last week. Touched Let's feel it. it up this week. All right, so I'm moving because I'm only like four mile, three miles away. What did you away. notice say? You got a notice. I got a notice on my apartment that was like, due to the... Like, it didn't even say, like, leakage. It said news about Porter Ranch. Like, it was very, like, cryptic. Um, they were like, we suggest that you keep all your windows closed at all times. It's not even, like, at, like, high noon, keep it closed. It's at all times, keep it closed. And use forced air. Use, like, air conditioning, whatever, to, like, you know, keep your uh, room climate or whatever. But, yeah, See, don't, open, is, though, don't open windows. I think I live, what, about, how, how long did it take you to get from your place to Actually, night? it took a solid 15 minutes. I thought it was only going to be, like, 10 minutes. It was, like, 15. I went all the way west to get okay. to you. Is Northridge even closer to the gas leak? Yes, it okay. is. It's even closer. So it's terrifying. I'm sincerely it's right there. hoping that it doesn't spread to the point where where we just moved. Gotta move again. Although SoCal would probably pay for it, right? I don't know. I know they're... Okay, here's the thing. When we were searching... I don't know if I mentioned this before, but when we were searching for apartments and homes in general... Oh, I don't... Yeah. Yeah. SoCal was paying twice or th to three times the amount of rent for these people to be relocated. So I was thinking, I'm going to start a business where I purchase a bunch of houses or I start renting a bunch of houses in near the Porter Ranch area, and then uh, the SoCal Gas has to relocate me. Yeah. And they also give you money for food, and they give you, like, $50 a day per diem for food. That's not so, a lot. Oh, wait, maybe it is. Oh, my God, I am a diva. What the so, fuck was that just now? That's <laughs> not a lot. I spend $100 on my golden carrots. I'm a very expensive racehorse. I hate you. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, um, I learned that over, I think, 3,000 families relocated from Porter Ranch Jesus already. Christ. Yeah. Um, and I saw a weird um, news article about how they plan to stop it. So they, they tried. They have a plan? They have two plans, but one of them failed already. I bet they that. tried to. <laughs> well, then there are all these people like, why don't you just. Why don't you just close plug it, it up? up? Why don't you just plug, plug it up? It well, lo and behold, the first thing they tried to do was plug it up. They did. Um, they put cement on top, and then it burst through, and, and like there's, it's just no yeah, hope. I bet it did. I know, but now they're siphoning an extra, um, like, I don't know, pipeline through to relieve the pressure, and then they're gonna put like Can cement it underneath. On fire? I think so. What if they just wait? I think so. Methane's. What if they just got, get Johnny Rocket to go over there and just light a match and just throw it in, and it all burns sure. up, right? I'm stuck. Well, I mean, burning I'm methane can't be that bad, right? I'm stuck on Johnny Rocket. Like, if it, I mean, wouldn't the fire all... <laughs> Scientists in the audience, in the in the comments, let us know what your plan is to stop the... No, actually, don't do that. Forget that. Stick to what we were talking about in the comments before about the meetup. Yeah, well, that's way more important than But think, than about, our it. think bullshit. about that Port Ranch gas leak and how to fix it, <laughs> because I don't want to have to move again. You guys, save my life. Thank you very much. Honestly, I don't care anymore, because I am going to move. And I, I care, care very much still. <laughs> um, why don't we just... Go on to something happy. Yes, please. I What's happy? I would rather happy? go on to some would you rathers. We haven't done them in a <gasps> while. So this is the first set of would you rathers we're doing in 2016. Also, sorry for not doing your New Year's uh, resolutions. What? Didn't we skip a whole thing? We asked someone to do. We asked them to do a New Year's resolutions thing, and then we just completely. We couldn't shoot the podcast. No, I'd Shouldn't. like to say that that was our reason for it, but then the pre it was the previous week before that, and we literally got back into the podcast ourselves and forgot. Oh, we forgot the hashtags? That's so weird, because I was looking through the tweets and I couldn't find them, but that's on me then, isn't it? I'm sorry. I don't know, to I'm be sorry. honest, because like sometimes I remember that stuff too, and then sometimes I don't. So it's like, you know what? I'd say it's a group fuck up. It's not even selective. It's not like, I wanted to remember this, so I remembered it. It's like, I just selectively remember this shit. It's not like you're like, fuck your New shit. Year's resolutions. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? We have your would you, rather, would you rathers. We have the um, Al Rokers right here. What uh, Dan Rather, that's what I meant to say. And the first one's from Still. Chow, a.k.a. at Catch That Banana. And he or she is asking, would you rather be able to run at 100 miles per hour or fly at 10 miles per hour? <gasps> Very easy question. Running at 100 miles per hour uh, probably would not be able to keep up with that. Like, my eyes would yeah, be like, 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 oh. <laughs> and then smack. And then imagine smacking something at 100 miles per hour. Uh, fucking dead. Flying at 10 miles per hour, though, that's not only cool and an attainable goal. It's a little bit weird, though. You can't ever use it to get away. You could always use it to show off, though. Because remember in Chronicle, I mean, even when they first like lifted up and they're like, G -g -g -g, oh my god, my powers are activated, everyone was like, holy shit, yeah. and they weren't even flying at all. If I was flying at 10 miles per hour, oh. <laughs> 10 miles per hour isn't that fast though, you know that? 
10 miles per hour, no, it's not that fast, it's but fast. it's faster oh. than I can walk. Yes, yeah, and it's actually probably your running speed, but... Yeah, that's actually pretty tight. Actually, yeah, that is pretty good. I was thinking I want to run 100 miles per hour, because if I can do that, my body should be, like, able to handle the, like, properties of that, right? Like, I could probably see... I need you quickly. to know, though, as Steven Subtick, fastest man alive, I'm actually pretty close to Usain Bolt. Um, <gasps> I have the same birthday as him, August 21st. I'm not even joking, it's a thing. No one Look even, I don't think anyone was really questioning whether or not you were joking. I think it was more alone. great. So Fuck. let's move on to the next one. So you, we both pick flying? I'll pick flying, yes. Tight. That's it's way more one. impressive. We next come from Tessa Shepard, a.k.a. Timey Wimey Tessa, who asks, rather live in a world with dragons or a world where dinosaurs were still alive? Dragons. Wait, what kind of dragons, though? Because there are, are many types of dragons. Bitch, have you seen Reign of Fire? Yeah, bitch. Do you remember how fucking scary that was? <laughs> but that's why it's cool. Raina. Okay, listen. Rain there... of Fire. Rain of Fire. Oh my god, that's so weird. We should call this podcast Rain of Fired. Oh, how juicy. That's pretty juicy. That's kind of tight. Steven Subtick, Metadata King. Oh. Ooh, wow. No. I would rather live in a world where dinosaurs are alive because those will be, um, that's more of an attainable goal because, of, uh, or not attainable, but that's more of a... Uh, something you can deal with, like the U.S. government, if they had to fight dragons. That you've seen Reign of Fire. I seen love it. dragons because I'm I that too. girl. I fucking love dragons, and I love like Asian dragons too. And Asian dragons are good spirits, so who cares? Are, you don't like the Benedict Cumberbatch dragons? <laughs> no, <laughs> those aren't bad either. But I, I want to live in a world where magic exists rather than like history being. Oh, also, um, dinosaurs aren't cool anymore. By the way, they look like birds. Stop it. They look like ugly birds Dinosaurs now. Dinosaurs look like they do in Jurassic Park. No, they don't. They're like ugly-ass birds. Well, I'm not going to argue with you there because that's science. But in my <laughs> mind, you know what? Dragons are pretty fucking tight. Yeah, I'll there go we dragons. go. Dragons! <laughs> Adolfo Beltron, a.k.a. It has Rididis, says, What wouldn't you do for a million dollars? Also, why did you put those three slashes before that? What was the point of that, Adolfo? And you put two eyes afterwards. What's the point of that? Like, what are those emoticons? Two eyes. To? Yeah, see those two eyes right there? Like, what's the Why point? Why wouldn't they just be, like, dot, dot? Can I swipe this? Oh, cool. touch it, yeah. Cool, I can touch that. Um, well, I would not have sex with someone that I didn't want to for a million dollars. Wait a second. You would suck your own dog's dick. I would suck a dog's dick for a million dollars. Oh my god, would you really? That is really weird. Cash up front, no taxes? Think about it. <clears throat> You're telling me you wouldn't suck a dog's dick? Cash up front, no Cash taxes. Cash up front, no taxes. I do have a foreign bank account. I can make it look like it's not strange. You are very foreign. I am very foreign. Um, I would say that no! I wouldn't... Well, I wouldn't kill someone for a million dollars. Oh, I would. I would never... Well, I wouldn't rape someone for any amount of money. Ooh. Uh, I wouldn't... Um, this is dark, dude. I wouldn't go to prison <laughs> for a million dollars for any amount of time. I wouldn't... Go to uh, a bar. I wouldn't go to. What? I was gonna say bar mitzvah, but I would go to bar mitzvah any day. Yeah. For any m amount of money. It's a party. What's some What's some other bullshit you just don't want to do for a million dollars? Like, what's just some bullshit? Well, well, you gotta go. Like, what's bad? Like, what is like fucked up human, un inhumane shit? I wouldn't start a genocide for a million dollars. Um, any, that's not enough. That'd probably be two million or three million. Um, I wouldn't take a bath in in period blood for. No, I'd do that for a million dollars. I'd do that for a million dollars. Bath of poop. So I think we've come to the conclusion that we wouldn't do anything um, detrimental to other people for a million dollars. But to ourselves, we would. Yeah. Detriment to I, ourselves. Oh, I wouldn't cut any body part off, whether it be a finger or anything. Really? I would not ever cut anything off. I would cut off a baby toe for a million dollars. Cash Why do you up have front? baby toes still? Yeah. What? Why do you have baby toes still? I, they're just tiny. Uh, oh, I thought you meant you literally have some disease where you still have baby toes, like your baby teeth. <gasps> oh my god, ew! No. Okay. Wait, what? No. Sorry, Raina, I thought you meant you would cut up off a baby's toe. Oh! Oh, a baby's I would cut toe. Off, I would cut off a baby's toe for a million bucks. Cash up front. Next one. So, uh, Blake RJ, aka Ad Blake Henselt, uh, asks, would you fight John Cena for a small loan of a million dollars? Yes. Simple as that. Well, I mean, what kind of a fight is it? Can you just knock me out and I'm done and I yeah. get my million dollars? Fuck plus, yeah, knock me John out, John Cena. Cena do is it. a goddamn sweetheart. I love him. What did I say he looked like? Oh yeah, he looks like a snake that ate a bunch of dodgeballs because his muscles are like so bulbous. He's so bulbous. Bulbous. Yeah. That's the word. He's like, have you seen him in Trainwreck when he's oh, having sex God. with um, it's Amy so Schumer? Scary. He's so bulbous. And he has this like really specific like one range oh, movement. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> he's like. 
So, and then was he thinking about dudes or something when he was coming? Yeah. All, he's I like, actually, you know what? A lot of people don't like Amy Schumer. I liked Trainwreck. Um, why don't people like Amy Schumer? I thought she was the new, like, yeah, super hip, like, I say what I want, like, She says girl. what she wants, but she also is, I think, what is she, a hypocrite or something? There's some something wrong with mm. her that people are like, wow, she says some bullshit. I liked her in the movie. I don't know much about her. I just know she's, like, the new, like, lady that's representing is she still ladies. still lady? You know, know who my favorite lady was? Taylor and, Swift? No. Um, but my fa- And she was also one of my favorite people in general. Uh, Tina Fey. Oh, Very my much God. Are you going to go Fey. see Sisters? Yes! <laughs> Wait, it's so weird. Is that supposed to be like a play off of um, uh, Step Brothers? I have no idea, but it's Amy Poehler and it's Tina It's marketed Fey, the same so... fucking way as Step Brothers. Well, maybe But like the girls' better. version. I bet you that's how they pitched the movie to, to get a green light. We're going to do Step Brothers, but, but with, with girls. Ladies. Next one. So Tommy Castle asks, "Would you who would bring you for who would you bring back for one final film, Bowie or Alan Rickman?" Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Next one. Chloe Rudolph asks, "Would you rather be remembered negatively by everyone or not remembered at all?" I'd rather not, not be remembered, remembered at, at all. all. Yeah. I don't have any. Because negative is yeah, that's not good. Like infamous as opposed to famous, right? I. You know what though? People sometimes are revered. Uh, like what's. Not Truman Capote, uh, the gangster. Um, Calzone. Uh, Mike Falzone. Uh, <laughs> what's his name? What's his goddamn name? The, um, the gangster back in the day who died from syphilis. Uh, fucking... Th- Pablo what? Chico. <laughs> that's, he's that's a, a man or he's Italian. <laughs> fucking no, it's... Audrey, do you know his name? How do we... It's not, a mafia it, person? Yeah, he's a mafioso. Uh, Why can, don't you Google it right now um, real quick? Okay, well, his name, uh, Mafia Died... Sif. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It came, that's an S. You need an S for syphilis. S Y P H. Yep. What's his name? What's his name? Um, Al Capone. Oh, Al Capone. God damn it! How did that take so long? Yeah, Al Capone. No one thinks back at him and is like, "Wow, what a what a terrible dude." Yeah, they do, don't they? No one's like, "Wow, that guy really Wait, sucked." I think they do. Everyone's dude. probably when they think of He's Al Capone, a mafioso. they think to themselves, "Truth, infamous, kind of love him." Right? Right? I right? don't... Right? That's what they're thinking. Am I right? Am I not right? I don't think you're right. Next one. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Infamous because I think oh, it's pretty... You would. Megan, uh, some sort of asterisk. I don't know what that is. Uh, at <laughs> ode underscore two underscore dream underscore... Wow, there really weren't that many ode to dreams? Or there were there were that many? Um, kill your spouse so the rest of the world could live or... Not anybody, not everybody, and not. Okay. So you want this one? Please take it. Kill your spouse. You gotta face it to me. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta face it. Face I will me. never. You face gotta you. face it, me. Oof. <laughs> kill your kill. I'll kill your spouse. Okay, so I'll, rest, I'll take it. So the rest of the world could live or not, and everybody else dies. You can't reproduce with them. Wait, I would never kill my. Fuck everyone else. I'm sorry. Mike yeah. lives. I love Mike. Yep. Mike lives. Everyone dies. Everyone dies. Cool. Sorry. Sean, sorry, Audrey. Uh, Sean TWG at the Waffle Gamer asks, "Would you eat a sandwich full of live worms for one hundred dollars?" Yeah. Reina, Jesus, do you need a hundred dollars that much? Actually, no, I guess not. Wait, how many worms? <laughs> how many worms? Well, it's full of it. <laughs> Raina, I guess that's pretty gross. Full of worms. I ate live a, worms too. I ate a worm when I was a baby. Not a baby. When I was like a kid, I like went. I got one I and bet I you ate did, it. You fish creature. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would not eat. Uh, I not would a, have, for how much? For how much? Because not a hundred. I would do it for like ten thousand. Ten thousand. I was thinking that. Yeah. Talk. Didn't we just shake about something else? Uh, yeah, about like Alyssa and Mike surviving. Yeah. What else do I? <laughs> well, they gotta. I mean, they must. <laughs> so then, Paola at Avocado Dolans asks, "Rather die or die with?" This is a weird one. Rather die or die with DJ Khaled. Khaled. So it's like you either die alone, alone or with DJ Khaled. I mean, I'd rather die with DJ Khaled, I guess, because... I, I guess I'd guess i rather that than be alone. Imagine going out with him, like, not like as on a date, but death-wise, and he's like giving what you all this say? motivational stuff before you die. He's like... Bless not so. <laughs> no, like, imagine if that was the last thing you heard, like, um, What's you're both up? about to, you're both like, you have your hands tied behind your back and you're like at gunpoint. Oh, it's and, dramatic too. And DJ Khaled looks at you when you're about to be shot and he looks at you and he's like, bless up. And then... And then... <laughs> Oh, There's no better way to die. I get it. With Khaled, Tyler Lenskold at Tylord95 underscore says, Would you rather have to swallow three thumbtacks? I just spit everywhere on this laptop. I saw that. Or a whole orange. Ooh, I, I think I would rather swallow a whole orange than try to do that. I think this has been on a table talk before. Has I feel it like really? I've, yeah, I don't know why I think that. 
Um, I originally think I said a whole orange, but then I realized that, like, the size of it doesn't make any sense and you'll choke and die, so maybe three thumbtacks would make more sense. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you, swallowing three thumbtacks- <laughs> That sounds like a fucking- Could you imagine me coming out? Would you die? It would rip your intestines. Would you die? You can't die. I'm of the hopes- that I it can't. goes down like straight. Straight. That's not. And a, it stays that's straight. impossible. Well, my holes are so tight that it, like. <laughs> you. Yeah, but your gullet has to like. My gullet. <laughs> what a contract. fucking gross word. My gullet. <laughs> Only I would use that word. I guess I'll go with a whole orange because I but feel you'll like choke and die. Well, let's test it out today. Oh my god! Yeah, I would choke and die. I can barely it's swallow so, pills. You can't even like. It's bigger than your mouth. I have such like if I ever get prescribed horse pills or anything, I am I dread the day because I didn't learn until like a month ago that you have to swallow it with a bunch of water at the same time. What? You were swallowing it dry? I was swallowing it with a little amount of water. I'm like, why you need so to like go up like an eight ounce glass. Like, oh, you sure goddamn do. Um, Hiroberto, aka oh, it's probably Harry, but spelled in a different way, says, um, rather be able to communicate with ghosts or communicate with animals. 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 I love animals. Oh my god, peanut! Ghosts are pretty cool. Scary, though. But imagine also, well, here's the thing, though. If you can communicate with ghosts, you probably could become rich. Be Well, you can you become could rich either with way. animals. Because, oh my god, it could be like... Caesar um, Milan, he's probably rich. He talks to dogs. Come hither, my snake people, and go <gasps> thwart my enemies. Oh and then my be like, god! Stop it. <laughs> So, what? animals for me. Animals. I just want to be able to talk to Peanut and Ume. I want to know what they're thinking. Who's Ume? Ume's my mom's cat. I thought that was a type of sushi dish. No, but Ume does mean, like, pickled plum. She's a little pickled plum. How do you talk to your cats? Don't do it. Okay, next question. I want to now. Vivi at I really... Hello, Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> at I really try is... Uh... Uh, it says, rather scream every time you had to fart or cry whenever you get somewhat sweaty. Parentheses, even if you just have clammy hands. I gotta read that one again because- Wait, what? I, rather you scream. scream. Oh, sorry, you wanna, you wanna do that one? Yeah, would you rather scream every time you had to fart Pretty or funny. cry whenever you get somewhat sweaty, even if you just have uh, clammy well, hands? Imagine cr like crying every time you have sex. No, <laughs> that's gross. I'd rather scream every time I fart. You know what? I do it anyway. I'm like- ah! Ah! You are like that. It's you know not that scream bad. every time I fart because I don't really fart that much. Yeah, anymore. and we do it blatantly anyway when we have to, so it's not really... Yeah, you're always like, Steve, and I'm like, Raina, we were, <laughs> I thought we were past this. I remember once I was like, no, 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 <laughs> and then it's always, it like the a, it's always like a, it's always like a, because for some so reason hot. you have like the loosest asshole, <laughs> asshole. Um, Casey Hansley at Casey Jean <laughs> underscore two says, would you rather get your eyebrow licked by your co-host oh. or have to lick their eyebrow? What? Can, why is there not option C of neither? I'm going to say that I'd rather have them lick my eyebrow because then I don't have to risk um, getting diseases. whatever diseases on their eyebrow. Oh, yeah. Me too. Your eyebrows look I'm not going to fucking right lick now. your eyebrow yeah, right, right now, Raina. Yeah, you're Jesus. Right. You're right. So, yeah. I'd rather get... Or, right, get, right, get just, licked. Yeah. <laughs> rather get licked. <laughs> Erica at Clifford underscore Moda asks, rather have a unicorn or a dragon? <gasps> dragon. Dragon? Dragon. Wait, but there's so many unicorns in your house. It's so weird. I love it. It's so weird. It is what it is. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to say? There's so many blow-up Wish there were more dragons, truth be told. Actually, there's also a blow-up dinosaur in your house, too. Close to a dragon. Pretty cool. We close. have a lot of fun. <laughs> there's a lot of fun to be had <laughs> in awesome. the household. I know. Um, a dragon, because imagine... I love You've dragons. seen How to Train Your Dragon. You know how cool it is to ride a dragon. Oh, toothless. How to Train Your Dragon 2 was such a disappointment. Really? It was so bad. I did Basically, I didn't need to know more. I was good with the first story. I didn't need to know like, more about I shouldn't have watched him. the second one because it really hindered my idea of the entire series. Oh, I'm fucking... What was his name again? Uh, no. The main character? Yeah. It's Toothless and, I don't know, like, like Stumpy Feet or something like that. You just call him Stumpy Feet for now because I don't, I don't remember either. Um, Erica... <laughs> Hick, hiccup. Oh, his name is Hiccup. Hiccup. Yeah, yeah good there job. Is. Max, aka Ed Walk underscore right underscore by uh, asks, would you rather spend seventy three straight hours in an elevator with Kim Kardashian? Sure. Why not? For one million dollars, or get punched in the face for a hundred dollars? What, what the, the fuck, fuck, Max? I would so rather hang out with Kim Kardashian. And then I'd get to eat her. Seventy three hours. How am I gonna? Sur <laughs> You're gonna eat her? Was I too excited about that? <laughs> You I heard she lives so... in Calabasas. That's not that goddamn far away. I heard Kanye goes to a gym near here. 
I oh my god. Will is very, can we talk about that? Can we please talk about that? Can we talk that? about how okay, weird Will is? We can talk about that, right? We can talk about that. Holy shit. All right, so Will comes in after lunch and he's looking real weird. He had weird sunglasses on and he had his scarf on and stuff and he goes, I just had oh no. He said, I just found out that Kanye goes to the gym right over there and it's like two blocks away from us. And he told us that he tried to inconspicuously go in there and try to stalk him and he waited there his whole lunch to see if Kanye would come out. I guess Will was on the toilet and he uh when he got, got a, a tweet, tweet about it. About Kanye being in that gym and he stopped mid poop. <laughs> To go and see Kanye. Now, you know what that reminds me of? Remember that scene from Breaking Bad? And if you haven't seen Breaking Bad and this is a spoiler for you, fuck off. Um, it's been so long. Uh, Hank was on the toilet, remember? Yeah. And oh, he reading. sees the book and he just looks up and poops or whatever. That's how I imagine Will in that situation. That would be so tight. But it's mid-poop, so it's like happening and then it has to clip. <laughs> he, he has to, yeah, he, he has to tight butthole. That's so gross. Yeah. Um, yeah, Kim Kardashian for 73 uh, hours. Yeah, Chris. sure. Exclamation mark! Oh, let me re- re- let me re-say that. Chris at not so Chris. Puberty. Asks, Would you rather fight a bear with sharks for arms? What? What? <laughs> or a shark with bear arms? Wow! I'm gonna say a shark, shark with, with bear, bear arms, arms because I'm fighting it on land, and the shark's just gonna fucking die, and it can't move around when it's on land. Really so can. imagine also, how what sad. What the fuck are shark arms? Are they just fins or are they sharks? All I arms? picture is in either situation when that animal dies, a scientist comes out and he's like, no. <laughs> No, I worked for so long. Um, so a shark with bear arms. I've I've always wanted bear arms, so <laughs> perfect. Also, I hate shark. I don't hate sharks. I just don't like sea creatures. <laughs> Nico Oelling, uh, or Noelling. Asks, what? That's their at name. S walk through hundreds of spider webs with Nico spiders Owen. in them. Wait, Oof. what? I don't know, or I don't know how to pronounce her name. Or different. I think it's supposed to be like Noel, yeah. so it's like Nico Welling, but I don't know, that's all on them. Or have a different job and have never done YouTube. I'm going to walk through spider webs with spiders in them. Ah. So be it. It's, I, I'm oh, not, what if they're in your hair? Your hair isn't as long as mine. There's less places to hide. I'm not that afraid of spiders. Really? Um, now if they said, walk through thousands of beehives, Oh, I don't care about me. bees. Well, because one think about it, a hundred of hundreds of spider webs. Uh, uh, that's not exactly. I just don't like spiders. Oh, they're oh and you on have me. to walk too. Oh, you can't run. Me. Oh, they're on me. Think about what's your um, <laughs> what's your plan of attack to get through that? Are you chopping? Are you doing your judo chops um, to get through it? I think it's or are you these. Straight like, up? no, no, no. I think it's this, like waving arms back and forth. So it's not at least in my hair, because that's one of my biggest fears, like having spiders stuck in your hair. Look at how much hair I have. They could be anywhere. I've seen people with more hair than you. I, I'm aware, but it could be anywhere. <laughs> um, and also, I'm not afraid of bees at all. I'll walk through anything of bees for. I'll walk through anything of bees. Anything of bees. What any, a, any amount why of you're bees. So powerful and, and anything. Bring it. <laughs> would Grabbing you walk bees. through? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what you could put bees in. I, I can't would walk, you walk through, through a, a spaceship of bees. Fuck yeah, gravity bees. <laughs> <laughs> Anti gravity. Anti gravity bees. Fuck that. that. Is so inconvenient. Yeah. It's just such a nuisance for them. <laughs> There's no point in flying. Frag. Steve's appendix uh, <laughs> asks, uh, rather die from suffocation while exploring space or die from suffocation exploring the ocean? Oh, oh, neither. I'll just kill myself first. I'll just blow my brains out with a shotgun. I feel like um, I'd rather die from space because there aren't sharks in space. Unless the bear like, shark is in space. <laughs> and then it's just, it's dead in space. And you just, the astronaut scientist is like, no! Nah! All my work! My creation! Oh my god. My entire life was dedicated to bear shark! Holy shit, this reminds me of One Punch Man. Best anime ever. Never seen it, never it's will. so good. Holy shit. Yeah, whatever. It's okay. It's so good. Space. So good. Sp- wow. Neither, please. Space. Hey, guess what's just happened? That was the last one. No. That was the last Ridgy Robert. Nor why? Nor whale. Sad. Yeah. You know what is a sad day? But uh, I'm going to go home for lunch, and I'm going to have a great lunch. That sounds fantastic. What will you be having? I will be having a fresh batch of I need to edit a video. <laughs> Very excited for that. And on the way out, why don't I guys just ask you... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, why guy eyes I ask us? Go we on. actually want you guys to uh, roast us. Oh, shit. Why? I don't Give wanna... us your best roast at F... Uh, hashtag F... Hashtag wow. SPF roast. Yeah. Hashtag SPF roast. Roast us. 
We'll try to handle it. You, you will see? cry. Try to make... No, they're going to make us cry. Well, are we going to cry? Is seen... this our Try Not To Cry challenge? Oh, we should call it that. We should call it that on the, the next podcast, That's... the Try Not To Cry challenge. Yeah. Because uh, truth be told, I don't take criticism or insults very well. And even when someone's like joking, they're like, ah, Steve, you old, you old fucker or something. I'm like... That makes ah! me sad. Oh. Ah! Wait, so give us SPF, or SPF Roche. <laughs> And we'll we'll read them on the next podcast. Oof. I'm scared, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. It's, it's alright. We're gonna drink hard after that. Peace out. Super Panic Frenzy. Dead. Raina Scully. I know that Raina liked cats, and I knew that I'm not a cat guy, so I got surgically implanted a cat on him. It can see your hand. Oh! <gasps>